Hello friends, welcome to a new vlog. Um, I'm really happy that it's light out late now. Uh, full disclosure, I stayed home from work today. I feel like I might have a little bit of the flu. Before any of you yell at me for vlogging when I'm sick, I cannot stay in my bed anymore. Like, I'm done. I've been in there since I got home from Disneyland yesterday, which is probably where I got the flu. <laughs> So I'm just I'm just gonna do little things right now and every time I need to I'm gonna sit down but I'm like I can't be in there anymore so I need to do something productive. <sighs> it's just a part of who I am people. Um, okay so I'm gonna show you some things and I got some things to think about and I'm gonna talk through some problems with you so give me one second. Okay so this is my fabric for my Regency Day dress as you can see it is Swiss dot and I love it and it's in a giant pile because it just got washed and I need to iron it so that's probably something I'm going to try to do maybe today we'll see how I feel if I feel tired I'm going to go back to bed and if I don't then I'm going to iron at least and then maybe cut out the next issue we have is which Regency dress do I want to make um this okay so I have five, no, four patterns to choose from for the gown and four for my Spencer jacket. So I really liked the Laughing Moon pattern for the um, bodice petticoat. So I was thinking about using one of these patterns for the day dress. Um... I'm considering like this one but maybe these sleeves so it ends up looking more like this which is view D I don't want to train though obviously or maybe this guy here but I hate all of these sleeves like all of them so I still might use these sleeves I just want plain long sleeves <laughs> but I do like this ribbon thing that goes across here. Let me see if I can make this less light polluted for you. Um, so I might do this one. I like the idea of the darts. I think the petticoat has darts in it too. This fabric is pretty sheer. Um, I guess you, you can see my hand through it for sure. Um, so I will be wearing the petticoat, definitely. I also have these two which I bought, which are Sense and Sensibility patterns. Um, and I do like this dress. It has a supplement if you're like larger than a size 12 or whatever, which I definitely am. Um, so I'd have to deal with that phenomenon. And then there's also this one, which has a very similar dress to the one that I want to make, I think, for this. Um, the only thing is like, I know how to deal with this instructions. <laughs> Right, and so this would be learning new instructions. And I don't want to, this sounds crazy, I don't want to make a mock-up. <laughs> I want to just dive into this. And given the bodice petticoat, I'm pretty sure I could just dive into it with one of these two patterns, but I'm not sure about these two patterns. So that's leading me to this solution over here somewhere. Um, so then the difference between this guy is darts on this pattern right here you can see her darts or if I want to have um, like a gathered bodice so I'm just thinking about that um, I like this ribbon thing that's what I have to say about that is there a gathered one here no these are all darted okay so I probably will go with this but I'll put these sleeves on it so we'll maybe see how that goes okay I'm gonna set out my uh, jacket patterns so you guys can have a look at those and we're back okay so here are my options I have a sense and sensibility pattern here um, I like this jacket I think it's cute um, let me see should I zoom let me zoom in on that I like that one I like the four buttons I think that's adorable I have this laughing moon one and I know this is a police is it police or policey? Hmm. I say police. Either this one with this high collar here or this one come in Spencer format. Like 
So it says B and C come in Spencer. So I could do that. There's this guy, which I have a class from Jennifer Rossbro, um, in which she makes this particular one, and I think she makes maybe this collar. Mm, I don't know. I like this collar. I like the stand-up collars, and I like this guy. So I'm kind of leaning towards this, but then I saw this as an actual picture, and this is view H here, and this has a standing collar, and this one is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. By the way, this is the La Mode Bagatelle Regency wardrobe um, pattern. This pattern is ridiculous. It's like $50, but it has like everything you'd ever need in it, so. So at this point, I hate the sleeves on this one. Like, they just look ridiculous. Let's look over at this again. <laughs> like, these sleeves are cray. And then, this guy is a cute option, but I have a class that I could watch and get help, basically, for this one, and that's cute right there. So I'm leaning towards this guy. And then, I'm stretch goaling this one. I think what's going to happen, because I really like this with the high collar, the View H one. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to come over here and make this guy first as my first attempt at a Spencer. And then if this goes really well, I might make a second jacket for later use with this outfit. Because that seems reasonable. Yeah. Okay, so basically I just made all my decisions by talking this through with you guys. And this is why I vlog these things, so that we can have discussions in which... I talk to myself, <laughs> but I make decisions uh, based on facts. This is how I do that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to sit down for a little while and chill because I set all this stuff out and then I'm going to, I'm going to probably gonna tidy it up and then I'm going to sit down and chill and then I'm going to come back and iron my fabric for my dress, which I believe I figured out how to make. Okay. I'm a liar. I'm going to make this dress with these sleeves because I like this neckline better and I sort of like I think the ruching will come out better with on the Swiss dot honestly and then I'm just gonna add a sash there that's just gonna be a thing that I do so I'm gonna look at this pattern to figure out how the sash is attached because I don't actually know that I don't understand if it's sewn on or if it's just tied on if it's tied on that's even better but I'm gonna make this dress with these sleeves. Okay. Okay, we had a bit of a learning moment. I cut out all the pattern pieces I needed to make this with these sleeves. All those pattern pieces are there. And then I realized this open bib front thing is not just A. It's all of them. They're all open bib, which is not really what I want for this one. I feel like I'm gonna have a chemise, a corset, a petticoat, and then this. And it's just like, that's a lot of layers in here. <laughs> I don't need that many layers. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and make this dress, I think. It actually looks like I can cut this one, which is B, and it has a low neckline, which is similar to what I want, so that's good. Um, and then I'm going to still try and use these sleeves. So, I don't know how that's going to work out, but I'm going to give it a go. There are long sleeves for this one. You can see them right here. Um, but they have this weird wristband thing, and I don't... I just like those sleeves better, so... I'm going to try to Frankenstein this thing. So wish me luck because I don't know what I'm doing. I have never made Regency before. Save one disaster of a project before. So <laughs> we're going to find out if this works. Hey guys. I took a couple days off. I'm still sick. <laughs> I'm much better now though. So <sighs> I decided to at least cut this guy out. So I got to say, Swiss Dot is sure pretty. But man... It's a biz notch to cut <laughs> because every time your scissors hit one of these, it goes, your scissors goes, Ugh! you know, like in the middle of it. <sighs> it's okay. It's not undoable, especially when I have like 
nice scissors that are super sharp but i'm just like ugh to this cutting process and i hate cutting ready as we all do also someone asked me about this fabric i i got this in the la garment district fabric district for four dollars a yard so you know if you're ever in la go with an empty suitcase because <laughs> you don't need clothes trust me it's hot there you can just wear one pair of shorts the whole time and launder them at night but you can get some bomb fabric for super cheap. Also, you can get silk for, I think the last time I got silk, it was for $10 a yard, silk taffeta. I'm sure it's like a very slight blend, but it burns like silk taffeta, so I'm excited about it. Anyway, this was four bucks, and I, I probably could have gotten him lower. I was just tired and I had to go home, so I took his four dollars. I mean, I haggled him down from six, basically. Anyway, I'm gonna keep cutting. Hopefully I'll finish cutting this all out today at least. And if I get super motivated, I might zigzag, but I'm not sure because I'm feeling kind of tired. So we'll see. I also wanted to tell you that I'm updating my fabric swatch book. So I used to have 10 yards of this. So now I cross it out and I put that I have four and a half yards left and that I used five and a half yards to make Laughing Moon pattern number 138 Regency gown. So then I remember what I used it on and how much I have left because this book is useless and I don't know how much I have left. I will probably also at some point get one of those little printer things that prints out small pictures from your phone and I'll take a picture of this gown and I'll put a picture in here so that I can put it in my finished projects area. Um, and I'll put pictures of all the things that go together in there so that when I pack for a trip, I know what to take. Also, I'm listening to this audiobook, which I always listen to audiobooks while I sew. This is called A, His a Short History of Nearly Everything. It's awesome. <laughs> it's actually a short history of nearly everything. They talk about everything from the Big Bang, like through all of like dinosaurs and how the earth formed and all that kind of stuff, but like in a very like enjoyable way. So I've been enjoying this. I think I'm going to tell you guys what I'm listening to when I'm listening to them so that you guys get a little book review while you're at it as well. What do you guys listen to or do while you're sewing? Do you do it in silence? Do you listen to music? Do you watch movies? Tell me in the comments below. Okay, we have all pattern pieces and lining of fabric cut out and everything has been zigzagged, so we are ready to start construction. I need to read the instructions still. I can only work a, like an hour and a half, two hours tonight because I'm still, I'm getting better. I'm much, much better, <laughs> but um, you know, still get pretty tired pretty quickly. So I am staying home from work again, so that'll just make a whole entire week. <sighs> but I feel like I'll be much better. So hopefully that works out. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this vlog. I think I'm not going to put it up tomorrow because that's just not really enough. So I'm just going to add this on to the next one. Maybe I'll do this through Saturday. Maybe I'll do it for all next week. Unclear. We'll see how much, how far I get. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week and a good weekend to come. Okay. We have a bodice that ugh, those, these boobs are not right, so it's never going to sit right. Like, um, obviously Regency boobs are like way up here. So we have a bodice. Um, I'm going to iron this out and I have done binding on the top. I guess all this stuff comes together at the end, which is weird because normally I'm not used to that. I did learn how to pipe, so I did piping. Um, I've never done piping before, so here we are, learning piping. It is weird because this stuff is like, like natural colored and this is such sheer fabric and it's white that like you can kind of see it look natural underneath there, but you know. I don't really care. I think it's cool. And I'm not worried about it. So, um, here's where we're at for right now. Uh, I might do some of the skirts tonight and I might not, I'm unsure. I'm gonna go look at the instructions and see how they are after I figure out what the heck's going on with all this. Hopefully this is just, you know, ironable. <laughs> Okay, it's slightly better. It actually looks worse in the camera than it does in person. There's a lot of things about cameras that is weird. Anyway, um, I'm feeling good about that. 
Uh, I might clean up some of these dots that have this like weird little pokey thing sticking out of them. I don't know. I don't want to get too mired in it. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. The skirt should be pretty easy. And then back closure is the only thing I'm really worried about is sleeves. I definitely want to get this on before I put the skirts on, although I might build the skirt first. Um, just so I can do some nice straight seams because the sleeves are possibly stressing me out. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can use the ones from this other pattern with this pattern. So I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, so there's where we're at. Okay, so normally the next thing on my list would be putting the sleeves in. But that hurts my soul right now, and I'm frankly chicken. So, um, it's by the way, so on a Sunday, because it's after midnight on Saturday night, and I'm just now starting sewing. <laughs> I spent all day doing errands, so I'm gonna put in like an hour right now. Um, I stay up super late, just so nobody worries. Um, let's look at this. So this dress is for sure happening because that's what I'm doing now. This Spencer might not happen because I don't actually have fabric for it yet and I'm trying to decide what I want to do. So I'm going to order some samples. So I might move on to, I don't know, Region Z stuff over here, maybe some of this over here. I'm not sure. So we'll see. Anyway, I am a chicken and I don't want to put sleeves that don't actually go with this dress into this dress tonight while it's late and I'm a little bit tired. Um, so I think I'm gonna work on the skirt now because that seems like something I can do. Also, it says sew the two back pieces together and then do all the pleating. I think that actually sounds harder. Like it seems like pleating them would be easier if they were smaller and there was this like fabric weight on them. So I might just do this out of order and see how it goes. Unclear if that's going to have an effect, but I'll check it out before I do it. Maybe. Mm. Let's look at this. Well, if that pleat goes right up to that line, maybe it is better to do it first. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to mark it separately and then look at it and see. So, yeah, I went to see Captain Marvel today. That's why I look horrible, but I will flip the camera around for you. I went to see Captain Marvel just now. It was awesome. I really liked it. I did a bunch of errands today that had nothing to do with sewing. Well, I went to Joanne to get the interfacing for this belt. I think I'm going to make more than one belt. Also, it tells you that you have to make a chain loop for this thing, like a thread chain. I've never made one of those, so I'm going to have to look up a YouTube video on that. Um, so I'm learning lots of new things on this guy. So anyway, I'm going to work on the center back thing and see if I can get some things done in the next hour. And hopefully that will work out and I'll let you know what happened. Quick update. We have a fully formed skirt, which I'm excited about. Um, I think this is all I'm going to do tonight. And I'm going to come and deal with the whole sleeve situation tomorrow. Oh, how I dread sleeveles. It's a thing. Um, so obviously I'm going to make a muslin mock-up first. Try it on, make sure it fits. Um, I don't know how, I don't, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Experiments. Okay, it's Sunday. I am getting ready to go over to my costume buddy's house. They're having an 18th century card game day. I'm showing up in jeans and a t-shirt because I don't have anything 18th century. Well, I actually do. I have all the under things. <laughs> I could show them my underwear. That would be weird. Anyway, um, okay, so this is the long sleeve pattern that I'm not using that comes with this particular dress. Looks like this. I have no idea why it does this crazy business here. I'm trying to find out from my costuming friends, but if any of you guys know why it does that particular thing that looks crazy, WTF. <laughs> like why would it like come up and then back down again um, I'm sure it has to do with something with the amount of floof in the sleeve head 
Okay, so this is the pattern I actually want to use and it has significantly less floof, apparently. <laughs> um, and that's what I want. And it doesn't require me to put any weird bands on it because I don't really want any weird bands. I want this to be very like plain. So obviously these are different patterns. Um, they are from the same company though. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to line up 26 because that's the size I'm cutting to 26 up here. And then I'm going to take these markings that are on the, the bottom pattern. You can kind of see them through. I'm going to just draw a line across here so I know where the markings should be at whatever size. It's 5 eighths in probably from where this line is. So it would probably be like here. Um, and then also there's another set of them right here so that... I have a dot basically or a line where the dot or line should be were this the actual correct pattern basically so it'll match up to my um, like markings that are on the, the bodice part of the pattern I guess. Um, the sleeve head is not that differently shaped it's a little the other one's a little wider. So I think it's okay if the markings are here. I think it'll still fit. I think it'll just be a less floofy sleeve head. These ones over here actually seem to match up really well. Like they're all on the same line. Like if I just drew a line, it would all cross each other. So I feel like that's fine. Anyway, that's my plan. I don't know if that's correct or not, but that, that is how I'm gonna go about this, I think, from a logic standpoint. I put a question out to my costume buddies to find out if they think that's correct. So, Hopefully they do, and we will move on from there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this pattern out so that I have it um, ready to go, because I don't have a lot of time before I have to leave, so I want to get some productive things done. And then obviously I'm going to, I need to measure my width and make sure it's the right size before I cut it out. And then I'm going to make a muslin. Well, I guess I'll use... I mean, I'm gonna use a muslin. I don't know if I'm gonna line these sleeves. Actually, I think I probably won't. Maybe I will. I don't know. This fabric's really thin. Um, oh, I do want to line them so you can't see my tattoo. Okay, so I'm gonna make up the lining and <laughs> sew that up and see if it fits and how it looks and stuff first before I cut the fabric. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay. So, I'm going to speak somewhat softly because I have a guest here in the next room. My friends tried this on me and we decided that my arm size was like the shoulder was too wide. So, they pinned it and I measured it. This is 5 eighths inch from the spin all the way around. So, I have this piece that I cut off. So, how do we make that match? We flip it upside down and I'm going to go ahead and pin it right there and then draw the line in and cut the exact same piece out on this side. I'm also going to make this less dowdy by bringing it down to about here and I'll show that in just a few minutes. And here's what ended up happening. I cut these um, shoulders narrower because they were too wide and it worked out. And then I re zigzagged the edge so that it was a nice seam finish. I unbound, cut this down because this was like way up here, um, and then rebound this, um, and then press a little bit, although ugh, it's a little bit like the yeah, but maybe some more pressing will help. Um, this should allow for a little bit of my petticoat to show out the top, my bodice petticoat, um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but that was a fashionable thing back then, so that's what I did. So tomorrow we will deal with sleeves, maybe not tomorrow, maybe I have an, a thing tomorrow, so maybe Wednesday or Thursday we will deal with sleeves, which are no longer set out, so I have nothing to show you right now. Um, <laughs> and get them cut out and tried on and make sure and see how they go. Um, I also want to look at how they are put together, so, um, yeah, looks like I made some good progress, and that's awesome. Okay, I got some swatches from Mood. This one is wool. Um, it's a bit thick, though, for me to make the Spencer out of. 
this one is a silk wool blend and it is luxurious and beautiful and like ever so slightly itchy on this side <laughs> um i might go for this i'm not sure that they had anything this bright at the time of but i might get this peacock color instead is that showing up there we go um i just looked at a bunch of pictures from the jane austen festival in bath and other people seem to be wearing things that are just as bright, so I'm not going to worry about it, I guess. Um, and I'll probably go ahead and order some of this, even though it's hella expensive. I think I'm going to make a practice jacket before I use this <coughs> $60 yard fabric, and I have to buy three yards for this. Really, I only need to buy, like, two and a quarter, but I might put some on a bonnet, too, so we'll see. Um, that leads me to this which I'm not going to get this done this month because I won't have the fabric in time. I think I talked about this earlier in this blog. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I also might not make this because I think it's going to be too hot for that. So we'll see. Um, I might start on this guy or I might come over here and start on like the skirt or something this weekend. So we'll see. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the sleeves on ye old Regency dress and see how that goes. Oh, and I've had another development. These lovely beauties are pockets that my friend Claudine gifted to me. She has, um, I guess too many. She's been making, <laughs> like learning how to use her, uh, embroidery machine or like testing this motif on these guys. So she made some pockets and she said I can have them, which I'm very excited about, which means I can take pockets off my list. Woo woo! I think I actually already did. Um, and then she also gifted me a linen neckerchief um, as well. Um, for my 18th century so we'll see about this guy it's beautiful um and oh i think they called it also a fichu although a fichu might be like a lighter material than this this is pretty light though um and i think this is beautiful so thanks claudine these are lovely thank you for the gifts okay we have two sleeves um that have been flatlined and zigzagged and are ready to go. I feel like I could maybe sew a little bit more, but I also want to edit this video and get it up. So I'm going to call it on this for tonight and do that so that this vlog can go live. Um, cause it's a really long one and I think we're done here. <laughs> I'm going to do the rest of this this weekend when I am fresh and I have all day to sew and I'll get these sleeves in and everything will be cool. I don't know, I might start tomorrow, but I doubt it, because I'm going to go see a friend of mine from Iceland. So, um, I think that's about all. Uh, please, let me know if you made it to the end of this video. I was listening to Foundations Revealed, or Foundations Revealed <laughs> phone calls, because um, if you're a member, they record the calls, and I'm always at work when they're doing it, so it's like 1pm on like a Thursday all the time. So um, I listened to them later, so I was listening to some of those while I sewed, and also Paul Simon Graceland, um, and North Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. So that's what I was listening to for the latter part of this uh, week um, while I was sewing. What are you guys listening to when you sew? What do you do? Do you watch movies? Do you listen to music? Do you sit in total silence? <laughs> I can't sit in total silence. Let me know. All right. Have a good one, guys. Um, like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't.